We're going to talk about finding the perfect cause, class of 2021 and class of 2022. Thank you so much for joining us. And freshmen, I don't mean to exclude you. You're certainly a part of the group that we'll be talking with today. And if there's any seniors here, a lot of the information applies to you. I always say there's two reasons to go to college, growth and learning. You know, there's classroom learning, but also outside the classroom. And if a student goes, let's say, out of state to college, you're going to get to know um, the University of New Mexico is located in Albuquerque. We're known for the hot air balloon fiesta. There's different food, different customs in different places. So I always say part of that college experience is in the class, on campus, but the community as well. Good thing is juniors, this summer you become seniors, you've started early, uh, you've missed no deadlines, there's not any schools that are saying you can't apply for fall of 2021. Uh, many colleges you can't apply quite yet, some you can. Uh, students going to college, generally my experience is they're eager and excited, nervous, but maybe a little bit of both. Uh, I hope that many of you are eager and excited for your senior year. You've got to knuckle down, buckle down, make sure you do well this year because colleges, you have to pass everything as a senior to be, once you're admitted, you still have to do well and finish strong. What are students nervous about? Many things. I know the COVID-19 situation right now has got students nervous about what classes are going to look like. Again, Colleges are prepared and we're getting ready to be on campus starting this fall and by fall 2021. I don't want to say we'll be old hats or experts, but we'll certainly have a better handle on operating in a, a new environment. One of the conflicted things our students are asking, should I take the ACT or SAT? I know you've probably heard that some of the California schools, Cal State, UCs are um, not putting as much emphasis on the ACT, SAT, but I certainly say take both. If you've had the opportunity uh, and already taken them, great. So what's a good test score? Ask the admissions counselors. Each college at the University of New Mexico, we're going test flexible for fall of 2021. But if you take the test, you may qualify for more scholarship. Many colleges are going to put a greater emphasis on the college essay, but not every college requires the essay. California State Universities, University of New Mexico. But certainly if you uh, write the essay, make sure you answer the question, the prompt. Uh, many of you will be looking at the UCs, maybe looking at a, what's called the Common App. The college essay is an important part. Uh, if it says 300 words, don't write 500 because the first thing we'll say is, hey, it said 300, you wrote 500, you can't follow directions. So help us help you follow directions. One of the things students are worried about is getting admitted to college. Ask questions, follow directions, connect with the college admission counselors. We'll tell you exactly what it takes to be admitted. And parents, I know some of you, maybe today, you're thinking, how much is it going to cost? Well, it's going to cost a lot, but we're also going to cover scholarship and financial aid. But I would say it's not a matter of if or when, but where. Many students say, well, I'm going to start at a community college and transfer. Wonderful. Make sure you check in with the four-year school you want to transfer to day one. I always say start where you want to finish. Make sure that that college will accept what you're doing as a community college student. Many of you are saying, I want to stay close to home. Great option. Uh, many of you want to go further away. Well, certainly that's an opportunity for students. Ivy League, uh, many students know Ivy League. It's actually an East Coast Athletic Conference, uh, but they've got some great schools, many great schools in California, but also beyond. Look at all the options across the U.S. And there's international options, and we'll talk about both here in the next few minutes. I live in California. Students, you live in California. The whole world loves California. And basically, here's why. Bathing beauties, the Bay Area, Beverly Hills, beaches, boys, Beyonce, Bieber, everything starts with a B in California because California is beautiful. Here's our typical Southern California, beautiful traffic. I know you're thinking, oh no, 
Well, that's the 405, and I finally figured out after years why it was called the 405, because I was going four or five miles an hour most of the time for what seemed like four or five hours with 405 of my best friends in front of me, behind me, beside me. Juniors, there's 500,000 high school juniors in California next year, which will be seniors, half a million. That's a lot of students putting the pressure on California colleges. So many students are starting to look in California, but also beyond. Let's look at what the options are for California students. Yep, we talked about community college, 112 options. These are designed to be a two-year school where students can transfer. But again, check in with the four-year school if you're looking to transfer. Many of you might be thinking vocational training, which is a great option. Vocational training is culinary, welding, mechanic, where you're picking up a skill. But still, a community college, an AA or an AS degree means you've got a college degree. Many of you are thinking, I'm going to go straight to a four-year. Well, in California, we've got the California State University system. The minimum GPA to be eligible is a 2.0. Students with a 3.0 are a stronger student. And uh, in this next year, if you have a 3.0, uh, California State Universities are waiving the SAT or ACT test requirement. But again, if you've done well on the test and what's well, check in with the admission counselors. California State Universities, the application period is still October 1st till November 30th. One of the Cal States that get a lot of action, admissions, and applications is Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Cal Poly slow, but I always say, don't be slow or you can't go. Don't miss the deadlines. You've got October 1st till November 30th. If you need a fee waiver, check in with the admission counselors. We're here to help. The Cal State Universities, there's 23 different campuses, but it's the same application for all campuses. You're going to do this application online. One of the first things that every college looks at is what coursework did you do? The A through G, which is your English, your math, your social science, your natural science, all of college prep coursework, language other than English. The reason that there's out-of-state schools in California is because California students are doing the college prep coursework. You're ready for college. At the Cal States, if you're not sure what degree you're thinking, that's great, but if you do have an idea, you can start to see which campuses have what degrees. Simply go to degrees.calstate.edu. Not every Cal State offers every degree. When you're doing the application, give yourself a couple of hours to do the first application. You can stop, you can start again. Stop, start, stop, start. But it's gonna take a couple of hours to do the first application. Make sure you have your transcript handy. Colleges are going to be looking at your, Cal States will be looking at your sophomore and junior year and doing your A through G matching. So when you've got your transcript, you'll be putting in what courses you did as well as your grades. Give yourself that two to three hours. Once you get the first one done, things go much faster after that. You'll submit your application. Remember, submitting your application is the first step to being admitted. Colleges do want to help. We do have email as well as live chat features. Let's talk about the UCs. I'm going to grab a quick sip. The UCs, uh, I always say, do you see yourself at a UC? In order to go, you must have a 3.0. The higher the GPA, the more competitive. Remember the SAT, ACT test policy is changing for the UCs. Sophomores, juniors, check in with the UC campuses that you're thinking of attending and they'll go over their new policies. Uh, again, uh, November 1st to November 30th deadline. What I always say is apply before pie. What you wanna do, Thanksgiving, everybody sits down for the beautiful turkey dinner and then dessert, and at dessert, everybody says, hey, did you get your college applications done? Don't be choking on the pumpkin. Make sure you've got your applications done. Say, I'm all good, all ready to go, I've applied. Many of you might be thinking of transferring. Well, the community colleges are certainly a pipeline to the UCs, but you can do community college and transfer out of state as well. 
Here's the dates and deadlines for the UCs, but they're pretty similar throughout. Uh, starting this summer, students can start looking at applications. Many colleges already have their applications open in August. The Common App, even though you can't apply till November 1st, if you're thinking of doing the UC app, you certainly want to take a look at it this summer and start looking at the essays that they're going to ask you to do. You'll apply in November and get an answer in March. Here's some of the factors, and these factors are pretty similar throughout many colleges. GPA, what kind of grades did you get in that college prep coursework? It's so important. Did you do just the minimum to be eligible, or did you get to be competitive? You know, it was three years of math, but I went and did the fourth year, or I did some AP or honors courses, if those are available. And whatever extracurricular, as I said earlier, there's learning in the classroom, but we also want students to be involved, engaged outside the classroom. So we're also going to say, okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. And that's where the essay, and especially with the UCs, it's going to make a difference. There'll be a lot of high achieving students that are competitive, but only a select few are able to be admitted. At UCLA, one out of seven students that applied was admitted in 2018. At UCSB, one out of three students admitted. And at UCI, why half the students were admitted, almost, uh, two out of three were from California. So it's not just California students trying to get to those seats. That's why California students are also looking the other direction. At UCI, the GPA was a 4.08 with a 29 or a 1300. Again, if you've done well on the test, that's great. If you've done okay on the test, check in with the admissions office and say, hey, this is the GPA, this is my test score, should I submit my test? We'll be honest and we'll tell you, hey, those are good numbers or uh, those numbers you may want to not submit. Uh, to go on the strength of your GPA and your extracurricular and your essay. So everybody's got strengths and we're going to help you play to those. There's 75 independent or private colleges throughout California. No students start hearing and parents here are private and they think expensive, but there's great scholarship and financial aid. Students, these are the options for students if we stay in California. 112 community colleges, 23 Cal States, 9 UCs, and 75 independent colleges. So about 100 four-year institutions beyond California could be great. Don't wait. Look out of state. 3,400 choices? I know students always think out-of-state's going to cost more. Well, private schools don't charge an out-of-state tuition. If you're looking at a private school, they have great scholarship and financial aid, but so do many of the public schools, and we've got a program called the Western Undergraduate Exchange. Western Undergraduate Exchange is simply students in California can look at some of the neighboring states and maybe pay the same tuition as a resident of that state. So the WUI is tuition reduction. How will you know if a school has WUI? Ask the admissions counselor. You're a resident of California. When you leave, you're a non-resident. But over 70 schools have the WUI program, the WUI tuition. So how's that work? California students are looking at out-of-state schools. California becomes an exporter. Let's take a look at New Mexico as a quick example. If you lived in New Mexico, tuition's about $7,000, pretty similar to a Cal State. For a non-resident, you're looking at about $22,000. Whoa, Gary B, that's a ton of dough to go, I know. But wait, with a 3.0, and we have in the past used the ACTSAT. Uh, next year, we'll be uh, flexible on that. Students with a 3.0 will be eligible for scholarship you would pay the same as a student from New Mexico with good grades. Don't worry about the ACT, SAT. If you've taken them, great. If you haven't, we're still gonna be able to work with you based on, uh, we understand the COVID-19 and the situation. Trust me. So you've gotta get admitted, ask questions, follow directions. Every college has qualifications. At New Mexico, there's no separate WUI application. The minute you apply for admission, you've applied for WUI. You can go to this website, but I caution students, parents, if you go to a website, 
still check with the college admission counselors. Not every website's 100% true and accurate. Hey, students, you want it, one school you could be eligible and another school you're competitive. At UC's 3.0, you're eligible. At New Mexico, 3.0 will help you to go with a bunch of dough. Let's talk about the college search and how that's gonna happen. Location. Look, students, you cannot just do the college search. The perfect college for me is, and it pops right up. But think about location. Where would you wanna live? What would it be like? And maybe you like snow. How do you know? There's places you could go, like New Mexico. Hey, look, there's over 3,000 options through the US. And yes, we've got 100 four-year schools in California, 112 community colleges, so a couple hundred options here, but all across the U.S. and internationally. Would I want to live in a metro in a big city? I'm already in a big city. Maybe I want to try something a little different. And uh, there's size of the school. Anybody heard of Soka University? They're in Southern California near Mission Viejo. 450 students. And yeah. Let's talk about Arizona State. They've got classes with 450 students. Doesn't mean it's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, New Mexico, we're a medium-sized school, about 16,000 undergrads. So just think about, hmm, do I wanna know everybody where I go to school? Would I like to be in a larger classroom? Uh, more resources available at a bigger school sometimes? You could be a big fish in a small pond. Cost, remember, out the door and for you score. Students, you want to be able to graduate in four years. So if you've done any AP, check with the college. Hey, I've already got some college credit potentially. Every junior that's a senior in another few weeks will be applying to college. And they're going to hear this. You're either in or you're out. In, win, out, pout. Nah, it's all good. We want to get you admitted. Remember, ask questions, follow directions. Our job is to help you find the perfect fit college. And so let's talk fit for just one quick minute. There's a financial fit, there's a social fit, and an academic fit. Does a student have the academics, the foundation? Does the college have the majors? Uh, and I put plural in that. Social fit, hey, I'd love to do this um, as a club, an organization. If you like going to sport games, make sure you're college that you're thinking has that, or maybe you're in the performance art, or you're religious and you want to go to a church, check and make sure, or find a new club or organization. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the financial fit. Let's talk about the financial fit because that's an important way to look at colleges. One of the first things I always say is don't ask what the tuition is. Students ask, what's the COA? How much am I going to pay? Okay. Tuition is certainly part of it. Remember private schools, no in-state, out-of-state, public schools. You're a resident or non-resident, but there's also the regional reciprocity, the WUI program. 86 colleges in the West have discounted tuition for California students. When you leave home, students, housing and dining. We used to say room and board, it sounded too much like prison, so now it's pretty glamorous, gourmet. Uh, maybe you'd like to eat all day. There's at University of New Mexico, we've got the unlimited meal plan. Let's talk about books and supplies. I think we all know about ebooks. We're doing this as virtual today. I know some people in the past, e meant expensive. Uh, the cost of laptops and mobile phones is coming down, and they're certainly uh, going to be required as students head towards college. Let's talk about transportation. Students, if you're going out of college, but even if you're staying in California, there's a cost, automobiles, insurance, parking. If you are going out of state, what I say one of the great questions to ask is, hey, how close to campus is the nearest airport? Let's talk a little bit about Jamba Juice, Starbucks, all that fun. And so these are the five costs of going to college. When you add that all up, look at a Cal State, about $25,000 per year. University of California, about 35,000. If you look out of state public universities, New Mexico, others, we're about lateral in cost to a UC. Right now you're seeing that and you're thinking, OMG, oh my Gary B, that's crazy. That's a ton of dough. I don't know how I'm gonna go. Well, guess what? Financial aid is a great way to help you pay, what do you say?
I always say, remember, there's three things to re with financial aid, need-based aid, merit aid, or the combo. Merit in a single word is talent. Everybody on this seminar has talent. You're good at something. Tell colleges, this is what I'm good at. My natural talent is math. I went to college, got an economics degree from the University of New Mexico. I got a math scholarship to go to the University of New Mexico. I wish I was a better public speaker. It helped me with this job, right? Whatever you're good at, colleges have scholarship, departmental scholarship. I'm good at music. I'm good at bio. I'm good at math. Talk to the admission counselors. There's research grants. Every college has loan money. They're small. And let's talk about the great J-O-B program. I always say J-O-B stands for jump out of bed and get to work. Every one of you students are working hard. You want to get scholarship. Talk to the admission counselors. Our job is to help students and your families as you want to help pay. Every college has scholarship. Ask the admission counselor, where's the money? How can I go? I want to know. Corporations have money and the government has money. Government money is the FAFSA. So this fall, students, you'll be doing the FAFSA. Uh, you're applying for federal, state, and institutional aid. And I know the Fulfillment Fund will be working with students uh, to help you complete the FAFSA. Class of 2021, file it as early as you can. Work with your parents. You want to be filing it, you're going to create what's called the FSA ID. The FSA ID is uh, your link to getting the money from the government. You're going to fill out the form online. The government's going to come back and say, hey, students, here's your EFC, what we estimate your family can contribute. You need to do this every year. Scholarships may renew. The FAFSA will not automatically renew. You have to refill out the FAFSA every October. Remember the COA, how much are you going to pay? It's tuition, fees, housing, dining, books, Jamba Juice, everything all put together minus that estimate. Your financial need is met at colleges with grants, loans, and work study. Grants, loans, and work study. Those grants are a little different, small loans, and work study is a job on a college campus. Do the FAFSA. We tell students, do the FAFSA in October. You will get a financial aid package in the spring once you're admitted. Scholarships are available. Every college has scholarship. Always, always, always. There are junior-only scholarships. This summer, juniors start looking for scholarship. Here's some websites to check out. College Board, Fast Web, Scholarship Experts. In addition, the University of New Mexico, these are not just UNM scholarships, but this is a link to links. Don't pay somebody. Fulfillment Fund will help you. Call Gary B. Email me. We'll find you some scholarships. Students, lots of money available. Apply for it. Don't miss the deadlines. Is there a separate application? Some colleges, the minute you apply for admission, you've applied for scholarship. There are outside scholarships. Is there an application? Check with the admission counselors for each university. Check with your school counselors. Our job is to help students be admitted and pay for college. When you're awarded a college scholarship, you want to make sure that you accept that scholarship if that's the college you're going to. If your parents served in the military or you're considering ROTC where you want to be an officer, there's lots of money available for students to do that. Let's look at the ACT, SAT. Not every college is saying no, don't do it. We're saying, hey, if you have the opportunity and you're a good test taker, you do well, make sure you take advantage of these tests. They could help you get admitted and potentially more scholarship. A quick review, and then I'm going to talk for a couple minutes about where I went to college, and we'll have some time for questions. Many colleges, just about today, every college, if you go to visit online, you'll get to do what's a virtual tour, maybe even a tour guide walking campus with a GoPro. Every college has scholarship. This fall, we're hoping to again reconvene with some college fairs, parent nights. Start connecting with your university admission counselors. Go to the admissions uh, component at any college. Find that admission counselor. Start the email. 
We love to hear from students. The sooner you start connecting with us, we'll be able to give you our time. Admission counselors are kind and gracious and certainly take advantage of this opportunity today. You'll always remember where you applied, get admitted, and of course, our job is to help you. I'm gonna talk for just a couple minutes about where I went to college and graduated at the University of New Mexico. I always say, what do you know about the University of New Mexico? And I always hear UNM, unfortunately not much. So let's talk about location. I always say UNM stands for University Not Close to Mom. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Flat and hot, we're not. We're in the Rocky Mountains. So remember, UNM means University Next to Mountains. I know people know Denver's in the Rocky Mountains, but did you know the University of New Mexico is the same elevation as Denver? I always say UNM, University nearly a mile high. Rocky Mountains, mile high. Oh no, is it gonna snow? UNM, usually not much in the city, but there's a ski resort in that mountain complex 20 minutes from campus. We're not a giant school, we're not a tiny school. I would say UNM, University of a nice medium size. You'll have no trouble getting your classes and getting to know your classmates. We're on the semester program. So students, you go fall for four months, you're out from mid-December to mid-January. You come back mid-January, the middle of May. So college already finished at UNM classes two weeks ago and students are gonna be out all of June, July and about half of August. 200 different majors. I always say UNM, you name a major, we probably have it. These are just a handful of the 200 different academic programs. What I want everybody to do, I'm gonna email, uh, give you my email. So email me with the major you're considering that I can tell you how that works at the University of New Mexico. What are we known for? Well, uh, students come to us, a lot of students are doing some kind of in the health sciences. I always say UNM, University for Nursing and Medicine. Oh, Gary B, I'm thinking of doing business. Well, UNM, University with a number of management programs. Uh, do you guys have film? UNM, University for Netflix movies. Netflix headquarters is Albuquerque, New Mexico for production. I don't know what I want to study. I always say UNM, undecided, no more, come explore, options galore, we've got what you're looking for. We are a research university, which simply means we're not going to talk about it, you're going to get to do it. And speaking of do it, we're gonna make sure that UNM, University for Now and Manana, when you graduate, you've got a degree and the skills to get the job. Study abroad, D1 fund, girls that can run. We do have the ROTC. If you're thinking about what would campus life and living be like, I always say UNM, University Nice as a Marriott. 24 seven dining, UNM, unlimited number of meals. All you can eat all day, what do you say? How much is it gonna cost? Well, just think, UNM, you need money, we've got scholarship 3.0, we'll show you the dough to help you go to New Mexico. Students, juniors could apply today for free or anytime this summer. We do rolling admission, which means you're admitted, not committed. We don't require an essay, a personal statement, or letters of recommendation. We're gonna look at your freshman, sophomore, and junior college prep courses. What's your GPA? You've got a 3.0, I can help you go. At the end of the application, and it takes about 20 minutes to do, email me, Gary B, and I'll make it free. I'll waive the fee. So remember, juniors can apply now, I'll tell you how. Do it online, it'll save you time. Use your phone, do it at home. Either way, do it today. Then email me, Gary B, I'll waive the fee, it's free. Don't worry about the test, send the transcript, I'll do the rest. 3.0, go to help you go to New Mexico. I know right now you're thinking, wow, UNM, unlimited number of meanings. Well, hopefully this presentation meant something to you. I really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much for being here and the Fulfillment Fund giving me this time to be with you guys this afternoon. Uh, remember, ask questions, follow directions. Here's my email. Thank you guys again so much. Uh, really appreciate the time this afternoon. 